Cody. Uh, what is what is Cody? I've heard that name. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's how, if that's how you pronounce that either. Cody, Cody. I don't know, but they had a really good Friday. They had a really good Friday, up seven percent. Then again, a lot of stocks had a good Friday. A lot of stocks had a good Friday because everything kind of took a giant, um, a giant dive midweek because of tax shenanigans. Um, yeah, these guys did get did get caught in that a bit. However, they had a roaring. Something must have happened on Friday. Something must have happened on Friday to had to come back roaring that much. What is it that what is it that what is it that happened on Friday? After reiterating guidance and focus on growing user base. User base of what though? I should read about what they actually do. Sells beauty products worldwide. Company provides prestige fragrances, skincare, color cosmetics products through prestige retailers. And duty free shops under the. Oh wow, they own all these brands? McQueen, Burberry, uh, but Benetta Venega. I'm not even going to pretend I know how to pronounce that. Calvin Klein, I know that one. Cavalli, Chloe, Davidoff, Escada, Gucci, I know Gucci. Hugo Boss, I know. Um, I mean, I know Kylie Jenner is a person. I guess she's a brand also. I think I've heard of Nikos. I don't know what it is, though. And Tiffany & Co. No, Tiffany & Co. is its own company. Did they buy out Tiffany & Co.? I, uh, I remember a story. Was it this year or last year? Tiffany & Co.? was bid by somebody but I don't remember if they took the deal is this who bought them did they buy Tiffany did they buy Tiffany uh, no wait a minute hold on is Tiffany still a company is Tiffany's Tiffany still a standalone company no they're not the, these these are the guys that bought it oh okay this is a this is gonna be an interesting story to look at. Uh, when was that? Was that 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 was last year, I think. That was last year. Maybe it was even before that. Was it before or after COVID? I don't know, man. It feels like it feels like before COVID was like ten years ago. Or uh or a lifetime ago. Uh, maybe maybe the chart will tell me because you're probably gonna see a big jump or a big drop when that happened because people either people either liked it or they didn't like it. I don't, I can't I don't know why. Well, I guess I can make arguments for both. Okay, I wonder if this is it right around the right around this time frame this this October to November. This might have been the time frame because something happened here that people really liked and it was probably that. And it seems to be going good. So, when I had when I had scrolled down to look at the description, I passed by these earnings, which these passed by these financials and these earnings, which looked very unimpressive. However, the fact that they are the ones that bought out Tiffany's, just based on these earnings, I was considering giving them a hold, maybe even a sell. But just based on the fact they're the ones that bought out Tiffany's. I want to give them a buy because you don't buy out a huge company, huge brand like that to not do anything with it. They got some plans. They got some plans. Whether or not those plans were already seen uh, coming out of November up until now or if those plans still have to come to fruition in the future, I still think this is, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter to me really. Maybe it was 2019 they bought him out. That would explain for this giant, uh, this giant earnings, earnings drop because they spent all that money buying Tiffany's. No, Tiffany's was way more than three billion, though. I think. I I honestly don't remember. The only reason I know Tiffany's is because I was tracking Signet at the time and I wanted to, uh, 
I wanted something. I wanted something to compare it against. Okay, out of time. Out of time. <coughs> Excuse me. I again, I was considering giving this a sell or a hold just based on those charts, but you don't you don't get something like Tiffany's to not do anything with it. And I trust them to do something good with that brand. And they also apparently control a lot of other brands that I know about that I didn't realize were all owned by one company. You know, Cal Calvin Klein and all the other, I don't know, the, the Gucci and the, the stuff, you know, the fashion things like that. Um, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to give this a buy. I'm going to give this a buy because I think... I probably should have spent some time reading through the articles instead of just searching for the one that mentioned Tiffany's, but I think that they can do good stuff with with their brands, especially now that they have Tiffany's. So uh, that's my justification for a buy.